Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to J and J Adventures. And M <laughs> comes last. J and okay. J and M Adventures. J and J and M. She's vying for a spot on the channel. <laughs> and which I think yeah. at this point is kind of deserved, only because I get shown quite frankly, frequently more than other people are. So, well, you're the only real I'll be the co-host all the time. <laughs> I'm the co-host. Yeah, oh, wait. I'll, yeah. No, what am I? The special guest <laughs> appearance yeah. all the time. Special guest appearance all the time. If, I'm not if, special guest If you were a special that. guest appearance all the time, you need to be here all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you want your name anywhere on the channel, you have to commit to Sundays and Mondays. Um, I got work. Well, then you're, you're just a special guest. I got to work for six hours and then drive an hour and 20 minutes and come back an hour and 20 minutes. What a day. <laughs> Sounds great. Do you want to have an I've M? I've done on, it before. Do you want to have an M on the channel? <laughs> Damn it, dogs. Okay. All right, well. What are you having us do today? Look at these. He's, the he's eating his back leg. <laughs> the boys are fighting yeah. right behind camera. So They're probably going to knock it over again at some point. Might have to go hand modeling again. Modi's got hives again. Yep, yep. Modi broke out in more hives. Come here, buddy. You want to show him your hives? Come here. Hey, did think... you put a picture in the last one? Oh, I sure didn't. Come here. Hey, come here. I'll have to put a picture. He's broken out yeah, really bad. Not he's not he's bad. a special needs child. <laughs> he is. And he has really he bad has food anxiety. allergies. Yeah, he's got lots of anxiety. He's got food allergies. He's got ear infections all the time. <laughs> yeah. he's, just, he's a special dog. He's a little wee tod. <laughs> Are you a wee tod? You're not a wee tod. <laughs> Okay. But anyways, we're back today to do another reaction to Andrew Tate, but this will be Maddie's first oh, reaction. Good Lord. Do you know Are who you Andrew Tate, Tate is? Yes, I know who he is. So, have you ever actually watched an interview with him, or have you only heard about him? No, I've watched, like, okay, Andrew Tate. For women, when the way he talks about women, no, I don't agree with, but he's also very logical. Like, he has a, I understand some of his mindset and some of the stuff he speaks about, and I kind of, like... So, agree with. so what are some of the things he said that you don't agree with? It's probably hard to think of stuff right off. I was about to say, like, don't, if you put me on the spot, like, I would have to think every time. Like, yeah, I don't well, watch like, all she the time, might like, see something in this that she doesn't agree with, and she can tell us when she does. She might. This is this is he's got some really harsh realities in this, but he breaks it down pretty good. And he's on a he like he's he's being interviewed by Value Tainment. I don't know if y'all know who that is, but it, like it's a really no, good no. business channel. Um, to help people with finances and stuff like that. So it, it's a good interview, but... Okay. Well, let's get right into it. Okay, right. I'm ready. Here we go. I'm going to explain what I was saying. In long format video about a girl, I was I have an argument with a feminist, and she was saying that we need to teach men not to rape. And I said, my dear, I love how idealistic you are, but I am realistic. Men are already taught not to rape. She's like, no. They need to, we need to go and change language at school and rewrite history and do all the shit they're trying to do to make men weak because they think that weak men don't rape, which is another argument I want to come back to because weak men are the most dangerous men on the planet. Let's talk about that later. True. But I said, no, people already understand that rape is wrong. Unfortunately, human nature, some people don't care about doing wrong things. We should teach people not to steal, but they still steal. Would you agree that everyone says don't steal? The Bible says don't steal. The Quran says don't steal. Schools say don't steal. Everyone says don't steal. People still steal. So if I were to take a million dollars in cash and walk down the street at night in the worst part of town holding it, to a degree, I would have some responsibility. When I got robbed, the police would come and say, why did you do that? People would say, Andrew, why did you do that? You have to protect yourself from things. You can't just rely on the ideological hope that others, other people in the world are going to be perfect and infallible or that the law is going to prevent it. You have to Pause. say no. I see where he's going with this. Are you this. cold? Mm -hmm. Are you cold? Yes, are you I'm very cold. Yeah. Put the blanket yeah, around let me, you. Let me get some of this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, well, I'm getting a little cold. Well, Somebody might have to go in and get the blanket off of the couch. All right, Jordan, you want to go get it? <laughs> Hold on. All right, all right, we're back. All right, here we go. No, so I see where he's going, going with this. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I'm understanding, I'm understanding. Kind of, He's breaking it down pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Talking about taking accountability. I can't walk through the ghetto at two in the morning with a million dollars in cash. I take personal responsibility. She agreed. I said, then by extension, would you agree that the smartest thing a woman can do to prevent rape is not to sit here on a podcast and try and change the way men think and talk about your bullshit, but to take some degree of personal responsibility and not put herself in dangerous situations? Mm. I'm not saying that's going to prevent all rape. 
I'm not saying that rape is okay. Rapists should be executed. I'm not saying that every single woman who was ever assaulted could have prevented it. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying the smartest thing a woman can do is say, this is dangerous. Going home with this guy I just met is dangerous. Walking through this area by myself is dangerous. Let me call a taxi. Let me call my brother. Let me go with my husband. But isn't that a more intelligent way to teach women to prevent themselves from being raped? As opposed to mm -hmm. telling them, you can do whatever you want. Walk around in the middle of the night naked. It's no problem. Men shouldn't rape. Men are the problem. I said, what you're trying to do is illogical. What I'm trying to say will actually prevent rape. So what you're saying, when you're telling girls, do whatever you want, men are the problem, you're convincing women to put themselves in situations where bad things might happen to them. Whereas I'm saying, listen, women and men, look after yourselves. I'm a full-grown man, four-time kickboxing world champion. There's places I don't go alone. Like, I, I came here with security. That's called being an intelligent adult. So I, this is what I was trying to say. I was trying to say you need to, women need to protect themselves and bear some responsibility to make sure they don't put themselves in situations where bad things can happen to them easily. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that's a pretty logical point. No. Andrew said rape's fine. Andrew said it's women's fault. I didn't say that. I, I really didn't say that. It's completely insane. If, when, if I speak to my brother's daughter, or when I have daughters on my own, and they say, I'm concerned, how do I protect myself? I'm not going to say, don't worry. Here's how we're going to protect you. I'm going to rewrite the mentality of every man on the planet so you can walk around naked at night. I'm going to say, listen, you don't go out at night. You better, I'll come pick you up. Who are you going with? That's just intelligent. I don't think. But they've taken it, misconstrued it, mm. taken it completely out of context, put it on TikTok, reported it, media machine picked it up, lied about me, deleted me so I can't defend myself, and now I'm dangerous to the world. It's a fucking scam. Huh. Yeah. Mm. But he makes sense, man. Yeah. I mean, he knows. you can't argue with that. No. Um, cause that's ultimately what feminism does try to do is they try to, it's like they want equality where it matters, but they don't want to take accountability for the, the catch 22 yeah. of equality. Right. Yeah. Um, exactly. yeah. and, I mean, and it is true. Like everyone, everyone is taught not to rape. Like no, right. no normal person is going to even be turned on by rape. Like the... I can't even begin to explain like how fucked up mentally you have to be to be able to maintain a hard on as a man while fighting a woman who doesn't want you, who isn't getting wet for you. Like that's not that like you have to be really fucked up mentally. I so mean, like you mean they will do it to you while you're sleeping and you're really extremely messed up and you don't even remember. Yeah. Like and that's like and and that I mean, I'm drinking, I'm having a fun time, so why can I have a fun time? Because men are fucked up. Because men are fucked up. Yeah. Because yeah. they are. <laughs> and, like, you know, in that situation, if I'm so messed up and they tell me, hey, I'm going to lay you down and tell me exactly that, and then I expect something totally different in the morning, you know, like, things are off, it's like, okay. Yeah. Well, like, mm -mm. how do yeah, I, no. you know, yes, I did go to, like, you know, drinking with friends, but, like, why is it stereotypical that it's guys that are going to do something when they drink. I mean, it's, yeah. Like, it sucks. I can't have fun because a man wants to take advantage well, exactly. of me. Exactly. Yeah, so but I mean, that's just the world that we live in, But that's just going out, though. Yeah, like, I mean, right. that's, that's, that's just the culture. And it sucks, and it's not fair. Right. But that's the reality, so you have to make sure that and it's crazy it's that way but so what i'm what i'm trying to home. what i'm ultimately trying <laughs> yeah what drink i'm ultimately trying to yeah. say is that most men don't think that way like most men wouldn't be turned on by doing something that brutal uh, like that's that's not that's I not think a there normal are thing some people there's some well, women that well, get turned yeah, on yeah i mean that. you got to take into consideration that there's 350 million people living in the united states right okay. so the Let's just say it's one percent. What's one percent of three hundred and fifty million? Yeah, that's not that, many. It it does. It's not many in in comparison to the all. But like on a more significant personal scale, like that's still a lot of men. But it's just because we have an incredibly large amount of people on this planet. <laughs> true. True. I mean, I, I mean, get what social you're media. Yeah. Social yeah. media wants you to put this image of yourself out there, and mm -hmm. like you know, tempts you to be this skinny muscle head you know jacked up guy and then people you know i mean that's like but either way like it's just recognition that like 100%. there's evil in the world 100%. right uh, it's yeah. like it would be kind of it, it would be like stuffing your pockets full of meat and walking out into the forest knowing full and well you're probably gonna attract a bear and it's gonna fucking kill you <laughs> like that's yeah. just common yeah. sense 
don't walk out into the woods with, right. with, with meat. meat in your pocket. Right? Yeah. That's like just... you can't you can't no, blame the bear situation. for attacking you, well, you know, because you okay. kind of put yourself in that scenario. Give her your analogy that I like the best. Which one? You can't walk down the street dressed as a police officer. Right. Now listen so to this. This is okay. yeah. This is another thing because I mean it's it's very much human nature to judge other people by how they present themselves. That's just yeah. human biology. Right. That's not that's a total gender neutral thing. And I can I can explain it on both sides. So they're going to judge you just based yeah. on how you look, how you oh, look. Yeah. So, okay. like, imagine if I walk down the street dressed as a priest. Right. I may not be a priest, but people are probably still going to confide in me randomly because they think I'm a priest or ask them to pray right. for you or ask them to pray. Yeah. Right. So, like, if I if I'm walking around dressed like a fucking bum. Even though I may not be a bum and I may actually have a job and an apartment and a place right. to stay, just because I'm dressed like a bum, people are going to treat me like a fucking bum. Oh, 100%. If you're dressed like a cop walking down the street, yeah, people might don't ask be me for surprised help. if you get asked directions or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? So, so. It's, that's just how it is. So nowadays, this idea of women going out and dressing to show as much skin as humanly possible and presenting themselves in this sexual way if if you dress sexually you you have to expect that people are going to treat you sexually Agreed. Agreed. Mm -hmm. So when doesn't you have, doesn't mean that you can't. Right. I was going to say because okay, listen to this. What if it's just something they enjoy doing? Okay. Uh, if for whatever reason it, you're doing happen. it just for your own satisfaction because it makes you feel pretty. I get that. However, you cannot expect other people to look at you and not I mean, true. think that about you. Yeah. So you I mean, have to take, have a, that's taking right. accountability for yourself. You that's can't true. get mad. You can't scream. Oh, why are you, why are you subjectifying me? Why are right. you treating me like a piece of meat? Well, because it's, that's what you're walking yeah, around. Yeah, it's almost like that's that you're advertising that that's how you want to be treated. That's what you treated. are. Yeah. It's it's you want to be treated that way by the guys that you find attractive, okay. right? But 100%. like yeah. he, like women don't often think of the catch twenty two of that. You're often gonna attract guys that are probably sick in the fucking head. <laughs> there's evil men out there. It's just Ooh, reality, those, you know. Man. You can't change the fact that there's gonna be evil men out there. Yeah. Just like the bears out in the woods. It's just a, it's just a reality. Yeah. You, you got to be able to protect yourself. It's not For about sure. teaching men not to rape because just like Andrew Tate said. All men know no, that rape that is that's bad. that's not acceptable. Yeah, sure. There's never been a parent on the face of this planet that has taught their children that rape is okay. Yeah, no. We just mm -hmm. we just instinctively know that that's, that's not, not okay. That's not allowed. Men naturally aren't attracted to shit So like it makes that. sense. Like, Instead of making men responsible <laughs> and yeah. retraining their brains, um, making us accountable for our own self. Take care of yourself. You know, no. don't put yourself in a situation where bad stuff can happen to you. It's like Jordan says, you play stupid games, you win stu stupid prizes. Yep. You out walking around naked in the middle of the night, walking down dark alleys and something bad happens to you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I best believe though, if you true. turn around and you dress modestly, but I mean, you can still look beautiful and dress mm -hmm. modestly and you're going to be treated modestly. Exactly. You're going to be treated like wife material instead of a hoe. Yeah. Yeah, not to say that you can't, because I get it, you can. Sometimes you want to dress provocatively, but right. but you're going to attract the, the guys that are just there. Yeah, I mean, that even for... that's even on a dating level. Right. Like, that's just going to attract all the wrong guys right. in general. But, like, for me, like, okay, so what if it's in my scenario, like, I'm, I'm small, I'm little. Mm -hmm. So, I like my clothes, you know, mm. more snug. Like Absolutely. I wear... If I had a body like yours, I would probably wear a lot of the clothes you that you See, that's what wear. I'm saying. There's nothing feels, wrong it's with... comfortable. But see, it there's nothing good. wrong with wearing snug and showing off your form versus... And, you, like, you could still do that and be modest. Like, there's firm dresses, but, like... How far does the dress go? You know does what I'm it saying? Come it can be a here? nice form-fitting right. dress that goes dress all the way that down. Goes to like right here, but it's a slim dress. So See, women been... care if hmm. you're you're clean and and well taken care of. If you're a bum, like if you're if you're at the low end of the social totem pole, like women want you to look presentable and clean and nice. But I, you could you could like 
never fucking shower might like matthew mcconaughey but as long as you're high value like women will put up with that shit mm -hmm. no i don't think i would you might not because i mean mom you and me are on the spectrum <laughs> no. you, you don't think like an average woman but no. most women would would put up with little you're nuances. mad because you dated a boy that didn't brush his teeth but again like he's not a high value <laughs> man though Right? Okay. True. Me, so, True. like, imagine... Like, like, I was kind of expect. I wasn't mad. Like, I was just joking around. You broke up with a boy that ate chicken wings in the bed. Okay, let's take the chicken wing okay. example, though. <laughs> so, you broke up with him because that was gross, right? He used right? to be on this channel, you guys, so remember that. Okay, okay but ahead. imagine, like... A, a, a really attractive like multi-millionaire arguably a billionaire and they have maids and shit that are all around the house to help clean up too like game as long as he doesn't take a shower he just he never bathes and i'm not saying never bathes but let's say he bathes like a viking and he only showers like once a week you would be okay with that would you not put up with it to, to live a more luxurious lifestyle would they be high maintenance though like when they smell like bo and stuff Possibly, Possibly if they're only bathing once a week. But no, I mean, I can't do BO. Like I smell myself all the freaking time if I smell like BO. If but I smell arguably, like I mean, BO is really just pheromones. So if you're actually attracted to this guy, it probably won't be a super huge turn off. Oh yeah. No, I could. I definitely like. I'm really paranoid about BO, so I could definitely smell you. <laughs> like you can walk. You can be all the way across from my house. I will smell you from my room. I have definitely have my mom. Okay, so maybe house. maybe BO is off the table. But I'm yeah. the the point is is there's a lot of shit that women would overlook if it was a high valued man in mm. comparison to someone that's you know not really as much of a provider okay yes would I put up with some of the shit that I put up with if I was living in a cardboard box because we couldn't pay rent fuck no exactly <laughs> so it, it, it does it does change a little bit as it scales up mm. yeah but hmm. it's I mean hmm. it's it's kind of sort of like um like men really don't have standards like we don't really have, the men have, don't have standards. we really well like in large the, like when it comes to yeah, sleep as long as you're breathing well like when it comes to sleeping around for example like no, men don't, have, don't really have standards we'll no. sleep with four fives and sixes and it not be a big thing Bag at all it. right Sorry. um <laughs> and before you tap it but the the higher that men climb the totem pole the more the more standards we end up developing when we get up there well that's so things good. absolutely so you, so you learn from it basically yeah you want a higher value well you just woman. end up wanting yeah someone of higher value even if you're sleeping around with them like your scale changes because at yeah. that point like so you're women too good for the yeah women practice what's called hypergamy have you ever heard of that no so hypergamy uh, is, it's usually something that only women do and it's dating across and up. So like women typically don't like bums, right? You don't right. see bums with women lining up to date them. It doesn't matter how smooth they are. It doesn't matter how good of a talker they are. It doesn't matter how they make you feel. If they're a bum, you're not gonna date them. Okay, when you say bum. All right, when I say bum, he doesn't have anything. Like maybe he loves paycheck to paycheck. He can't save anything. He's not good with the money he does so save. Live with his parents out in his yeah, he years. doesn't have, well, I won't say living. Let's just say he's got an apartment, but like he's not saving anything because he's not really motivated to, to you know, do more or improve his station or anything like that. Like, just kind of, like, bum. Like, you know what he's doing now is going to be the same fucking thing he's doing 20 years from now. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. but what if, what if the other person lived the same lifestyle? What if the girl did and she just found that to be... Nah, that's just, that's that's typically not how women date, though. Mm -hmm. Women are, are typically more attracted to people who are making exactly the same money as them or higher. That's hypergamy. Men don't give a shit, especially once we become rich. You can be a total fucking bum, walk around in pajamas all day, as long as you look hot and you don't give him trouble when he gets home, he doesn't give a shit what you do. You don't have to make a dime. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Women do not do that. They don't even like being the breadwinners. They don't. They, they don't respect stay-at-home no, dads. No, I want to be the breadwinner. That's my thing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, not I really. do. No, Maddie, yes, you I really do. don't. Why? Yes, I do. Huh? Why? I mean, work is enjoyable. If you like what you're doing, like, why would I not want to enjoy that and make great money? 
Okay, a well, I didn't say that, but being the breadwinner in your family means that you make more money than your husband, and that's yeah, putting and that's your husband biologically, submissive to you. No, yeah, that like, changes I, the roles. I really want him to be... I want to be on the same level of money, but not, like, not... Uh, I want to be able to be like, okay, so that like I can support myself, like type of deal. Like, That's I cool. Don't... Yes. Right. Right. That's fine. But I feel like when men have that power, once they feel like they made more money, seriously, this is this is what I really think, and this is what I think society's come to. Boys, at least my age, my age, if they think they make more money than you, they feel like they could be more dominant towards you and be more superior and carry themselves superior. Maddie, it's not about dominance or superiority. You have to understand biologically that men are designed to be providers. That's what exactly. we love to do. Exactly. That's who we are. Right. So the more you allow us to provide for you and take care of you, the happier we are, which makes you happy. And it's this constant cycle of, of just Happiness. making each other happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Right? Maybe I just want to imagine my okay, life so, that way. All right. So look. You, I think you're just meeting the wrong guys. Right. You just haven't met someone that it does. You don't. If you're in a in a valuable relationship, that man won't make you feel a certain way because of how much money he makes. He's going to respect you if you make $100,000 a year or if you stay at home and do nothing. Well, you I, see I, what I'm I saying? Think, I think ultimately, right. so biologically, it's not. <laughs> Boys, Magnum. He probably Go get pot stickers. Pot stickers. Say goodbye. I'm gonna get some pot stickers. <sighs> See, this is the reason why you will never be an M on J and J. Um, that's not nice. Yeah, because yeah. we're not. I haven't eaten in a, in almost two days. I I can't help that I like to eat. I don't know what to tell you. No. We're, well, your priorities are messed up. You're ending up. the discussion early. Because you want pot stickers. Because I need to eat. No, no you, you because you lack. It's because you lack self control. <laughs> you already ate dinner. All right, and I <laughs> this is a bed. bedtime snack. Do you see this? They're gonna be about eating right now. I want you to check me out. No, we're no, getting we're on her about check. not check having self control out. and ending Look the discussion just to go eat. I'm ready to be done with this discussion too. You just ramble. No, I there. don't just ramble. I there now. You can don't have to cut that out. You ramble. No, I don't. Yes. We were talking about shit. Was he rambling? I mean, we, we had a long discussion. <laughs> I was explaining stuff. That's a good, uh... Like, I think a you were sounding like Jordan Peterson there for a minute. Well, I think a lot of the pe the reason that we don't treat each other and don't understand how, how the other sexes work is because no one fucking understands biology anymore. Nobody, no one understands how human no. bodies work. And, and they take all of their knowledge and information from TikTok. And Instagram yeah. instead of actual science. Yeah, we're we're both we're all attracted <laughs> to society. Yeah, and women so are stop it! To stop being things. that person. I'm not. And learn what men really want, not what Instagram and TikTok say they want. Yeah, men uh, men want to provide and take care of. I there is somebody that I've seen on t he's either on TikToks or on Facebook Reels, and he actually gives instructions to women telling women what real men are looking for and he sounds an awful lot like jordan but he says it with a lot less words what the hell ever <laughs> he just loves to tell a whole story and i just want some pot stickers okay go get pot stickers <laughs> all, right. all right well let's just say bye together then bye guys bye guys bye guys okay, well, nobody... okay that was really all right well okay. bye guys i did this yet last time we're cutting it early for Maddie. Come back next time. Oh my gosh. Now you're going to guilt trip me. <laughs> We're come back next time for something without Maddie. Not an M really actually. Oh. Oh. It's gone. Oh, it's great dying. timing. That's fine. All right. You ready? Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye, bye guys. guys. Is this something or is this Spider-Man? That's Spider-Man. Then what is that? What is I love you in sign language? I mean, I think it's that. Well, that's what I'm doing. You said it no, was Spider-Man. That's Spider-Man. I wasn't You were do doing that. that. You had your hands turned over and then it. you did that. What is this? <laughs> what, what is I thought that's nothing. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> that's just what my fingers did. That's how my hand is. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? No. Can